hot take to share that's not actually a hot take but people will think it's a hot take because they're offended and or feel judged by it stop using the word obese or obesity especially if you're talking about a fat person but just in general just don't use the word obese or obesity to talk about fat people or fat bodies because we are not a disease we are not scientific experiments we are people if you want to talk about a fat person you can call them a fat person a person of size a plus size individual etc why can't I use obese? You guys just don't like the terminology because you know what it means downstream, which is that you guys are literally dying. Is that the main problem there or is it just you don't like the word obese? Can I use the word obese when referring to my penis? No, obviously. Cannot refer to anything as obese because the word itself is amazingly problematic. And my opinion on this is like with any other word, dude, it's either everybody can say it or nobody can say it. Why is this word off limits? It shouldn't be. Is it just mild? Is it super offensive? And I also think it's really weird that this person would sit there and say that we are going to get offended by this person saying that we shouldn't be using the word obese when they are obviously offended by the word obese. So if anything, they are the ones that are the ones really offended. So no, it's a dumb point. Um, we all know the real reason why they don't like the word obese because it, it's a very particular term that describes a person that is literally uh, dying from the effects of their overweightness. And they know that that actually puts a lot of value on them in order to do something about it. They have agency. They have the ability to make changes, but they don't want to because it makes it, 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 it requires a lot of work to actually change your lifestyle and eat better foods. And, you know, a lot of these people would sit there and they'll say it's diet. Um, and exercise and it's really in that order. It's really about the diet You can literally do cardio for an hour and burn 300 calories or you could just not eat that muffin That's 300 calories. It really is just down to that these people make it a larger deal than it actually is It's not it really is just about calories in calories out. You cannot just create energy from nothing I understand that the word obese is tough for you to handle because it literally puts everything in your own perspective and now you have to actually make changes for yourself and you don't want to do that because if you did, then you would literally discover uh, that it's up to you and it's not up to everybody else. But anyway, yeah, this person is stupid. And you can call them a fat person, a person of size. But why do we have to, why do we have to play these semantical games? Like, why do we have to go, why, why is this arbitrary line stopping at obese? It's like the people that sit there and go, so what, you know, what's your ethnic background? And I always go, I'm American. Like, that's where I'm from. That's that. And they go, but like, what about your ancestry? Like, where, where your people hail from? I don't know, bro. Probably like America, dude. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, how far back do I have to go? Like, uh, you know, the people that are originally from your lineage. I get, and maybe like Scotland, by the way, probably, maybe there's probably some people from Scotland, maybe if you like go farther back, like 19 generations. But then even those people, when you ask them, they, some people will go, oh, but like, we're all African. So I guess I'm nothing. I guess I'm just African then, I guess, right? Or maybe I'm just like a fish because I was born in like the water and we came out of the water or something, turned into geckos or something. I have no idea, right? Uh, it's, people have weird arbitrary lines. So whenever somebody asks me like, what am I? I'm always going to go, I'm American, right? Whether that be my race, ethnic, background, or whatever, I'm always going to choose American. The same thing here. It's just dumb. You can't use the word obese because it's offensive to you, even though you're making a claim that it's offensive for us to not be able to say it. Uh, no, I don't care that you don't think I, – I don't care that you think that it's an offensive word. I don't care. I'm going to continue to use it. Um, the, the way to get over your fears is to not have the fears be in place but to confront your fears. And it seems like you're perfectly willing to not ever confront your fears. It's a plus-size individual, etc. You do not have to use the word obese. It is not an accurate term to discuss human beings or their bodies. I think it is. I think it's a pretty accurate term, especially if you're literally dying from the negative effects of obesity. I think it's a perfect word. In addition, on the midsize post, a couple folks said, well, I identify as midsize because I'm not obese and I'm not skinny. Um, and I think to me, that's a red flag. Why? Wait, why is that a red flag? How is that a red flag, bro? If they want to identify it, I don't even really necessarily like the term midsize. It's very ambiguous. I don't actually even know what that means anymore. I thought for a long time it just kind of meant the in-between, but it doesn't even mean that because I've seen a lot of people identify themselves as midsize and they literally walking around with knees crinkling and they can't get out of bed anymore and they're falling over and they're too big and all this other stuff. So I don't even know anymore what these words what these words mean. I think we got to come up with better language. This is a TikTok. Are you tired? Because I'm tired. I am tired of having to explain that, yes, that is fat phobia. I am tired of fat people defending the systems that keep them down. I am tired of saying things that are not at all controversial, but being met with, yeah, you should lose weight. I what are the systems that are holding you down? Like gravity? 
stairs? Like, what exactly are you talking about when you say the system's holding down people in place, fat people in place, and then, like, we're okay with those things? Some things we have to be okay with because that's, how, like, how society works and how the rules of our universe work. Like, I'm sorry that gravity exists, and every force that you push down upon the Earth is equally applied upwards. Uh, I, I, what am I supposed to do about that? I can't do anything about it, dude. I'm sorry that you don't like gravity or whatever. Keep them down. I am tired of saying things that are not at all controversial, but being met with, yeah, you should lose weight. I am tired of thin people telling me that that's not fat phobia and comparing experiences like them not being able to get clothes that are exactly the right length to literally not being able to buy clothes in my size. Mo okay, this claim, I'm so sick of this claim of not being able to find clothes in your size. The reason why the majority of fat people or like bigger size people, because the majority of fat people can find clothes. It's just we're at the very ends where people have the problems. And it's like that for anything, by the way. Okay. If you're like somebody that's 200, even 300 pounds, you should be able to roughly find most clothes. Okay. In most retailers, they're just going to have to be bigger on you. I understand that you want clothes to fit you appropriately and you want clothes to look good on your body, but that's irrelevant you're 300 fucking pounds you're dying on a daily basis why the fuck do you care about what the clothes look like bro make some actual changes bro you know how hard it is for these companies to make clothes of those sizes that look good on your body and what looks good is very subjective especially for somebody that's literally packing on so much size that i, I can't even identify where their body stops and starts anymore so it's gonna be very difficult for somebody to contour a shirt a 300 pound person if they're holding all their weight on their bottom section and that shirt no longer fits them appropriately so it's very difficult to make those clothes also the clothes don't sell when these clothes are in the store and you guys always complain that there is no plus size selection you know why because they don't sell okay you remember when old navy literally had all those plus size selections back in 2020 2021 2022 and they got rid of them they said specifically the reason why they got rid of them was because fat people weren't coming in to buy them why would we keep putting stuff on the shelves that don't sell if it doesn't sell we don't want it on the shelves you can buy it online i know it sucks bro but most people nowadays already buy stuff online anyway right that's it's it, that's just how people operate in, in today's world and by the way people that are very very thin on the very opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to obesity Yes, they have a hard time finding clothes too, okay? I, I wear a size small and everything, and I can't find any clothes. It's very difficult for me to find any clothes. That, that's also because I don't like shopping. But uh, if you're somebody that's like 300 pounds over, you're going to have a very hard time shopping. But if you're in that like 100, uh, sorry, if you're in that 200, 300 pound mark, you should be able to find most clothes that fit you. It is what it is. They're not going to fit appropriately, but like what the fuck do you want, bro? You're literally dying. Fix yourself. I am tired. <laughs> then go to sleep, bro. Get your hormones in check. I'm sorry. Are you using a face filter right now? Why do you look so smooth? Why are your teeth so white? You don't look like a real person. To literally not being able to buy clothes in my size. I am tired. <laughs> I'm sick of people externalizing all their issues. I'm just sick of this shit. These people have such an issue with always having their own issues and never doing anything about it. Instead, blaming it on everybody else. I'm sick of that shit. And I know I don't have to post here at all i know but it is exhausting when i'm making a good faith argument you have no good faith arguments these are not good faith arguments i would love to see you actually have an argument with a real life person instead of having an argument with the camera where you're gonna 100 percent win every single time but that's obviously never gonna happen because you want to consistently win and if you're arguing for no if you're arguing against nobody then you argue for yourself and then you're always gonna win so you're not making good faith arguments either none of this stuff actually tracks onto reality Literally none of it. And I am saying- there The definition of bad faith, matter of fact. There's a lack of equality. There's a lack of inclusion. I just want to be treated like everyone else. You are, you're in a different category compared to other people. When somebody, when there are a group of people that don't have legs, for instance, and they complain that they're not being treated like everybody else. Yes, that's obvious, bro. I'm sorry that we have, you know, stairs, ladders, um, walking paths. The majority of human beings can walk and it sucks that people don't have legs, but it is what it is, right? Um, most of those people won't complain about it because they know that they're the odd ones out. So when you see that they're the exceptions, sorry, they're the exceptions, not the rule to the how human beings are naturally and how, how human beings ought to be. I'm not shitting on people that don't have legs. I'm just saying that shit happens and you're going to have to navigate within the society that's already set in place. I understand that there are things that we can do in order to increase the value across all spectrums for society, but that's pretty infeasible um, if you're if you're not willing to at least accept that there are going to be things that we just can't change and that you're going to have to navigate the society that we have right now okay if you're fat if you're very very big and society is not built for fat people do you really think the solution is to keep getting bigger 
Or do you think the solution might just be to get smaller? There are, I'm sure there are plenty of things that we can do state-wise, government-wise, right? That would definitely help fat people navigate the world. But until then, wouldn't it be beneficial for you guys to just lose weight, given the fact that you can literally do that yourself? And this, it's not like it's impossible. It's called thermodynamics. Calories in, calories out. You can do it. It's very easy. Responses are so consistently in bad faith. Yeah, I don't know where she found this this phrase of bad faith. She just she must have watched some kind of like weird, I don't know, dude, far far like weird commenter or whatever that said bad faith, and now she's just saying it all a whole bunch of times. They are so consistently, deliberately misunderstanding what I am saying. And well, you're not saying anything in particular. You're actually not giving me any examples at all. If you're going to tell me that we are misunderstanding what you're saying, can you at least give me some examples? Like when you say something, can there be an example behind it? So like, for instance, when you say the world is systemically oppressing fat people, and just leave it there, you do realize that's a very open-ended, that's a very open-ended answer, right? You do realize that's very, very hard to understand because I don't know what you mean specifically. Can you give some examples? Can you tell me what you mean by that? No. And you're sitting here talking about some, they don't understand. They're, 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 they're deliberately not understanding. No, I, we just don't know what you mean. You need to be specific. And making ridiculous arguments that really have nothing to do with what I'm saying. Just take my video from yesterday as an example where I talked about this headline where Alison Hammond is getting married and they framed it as though the reason she was getting married was because she had lost a lot of weight. And I don't care about Alison Hammond and her boyfriend and how young he is compared to her. I do not care about the individual conversation that the two of them had about her weight. What I care about is a massive newspaper writing a headline that supports the rhetoric that fat people have to lose weight in order to be loved, to be happy, to be married. Can, did you read the actual full, like, besides the headline, did you read all the other stuff that was with that article or did you just read the headline? People have a tendency of just reading the headline. You know how many times that somebody said, oh my God, this happened and I just read this and then you go, they link you the article and then you read the article and you're like, wait, hold on. Even though the headline said this, like if you read the article, it's specifically laid out. You know, most of the time there might there might be some articles out there or like some studies or whatever that are bullshit. But most of the time, if you actually read what the article is saying, which is not that bad of a read, most of the time it's like maybe five minutes of reading, maybe less, depending on how fast you read. And uh, you'll come to the realization that that's not exactly what they're saying. They might have just clickbaited it to make it seem like it was a lot crazier than it actually is. So they, they would get you to read the article and leave. I mean, granted, that's exactly what they got for you to do. But most of the time, the articles are not not saying that um so but anyway it's just a dumb point right that is the problem i do not think that that is a controversial take it's okay um to understand that when you're fat it's going to be difficulter to it's going to be very big problem to find somebody to be with because when you're big and you're fat and you have a lot of extra uh, uh big backness it's going to be very difficult for somebody to appreciate that body type given the fact that that body type is literally just inflated beyond belief so i mean i get what you're saying but it's going to be 100 percent more difficult uh if, if somebody were to ask me david what could i do in order to increase my chances in order to acquire a mate uh of the opposite sex i would often say depending on who the sex is if it's a guy i would say wash your butt cheeks, wear deodorant, clean your dishes, I don't know, do your own laundry, find regular household chores and do those things consistently. Those are always going to be really, really important for women. And um, it puts you at the top like 1% of men. I'm not even joking either. Um, if you do, if you know how to do all that stuff, that's going to be impressive for most women. Um, if you're like a woman and you're obese, um, then I would say, yeah, probably just like lose weight, I guess. That's probably going to be really beneficial as well if you just lose weight. And the same thing for dudes, obviously. Um, I don't really know what women can do to improve themselves because I'm in the men's space, right? So I know what men can do because like I, you know, talk to dudes all day and stuff like that. But I would say probably losing weight is going to be one of the number one things that you can do in order to increase your chances of finding somebody to be with because most people are not attracted to fat people. Men or women it's just not attractive i don't understand why so many people thin and fat will support the status quo even when it keeps them and the people around them down i don't understand fat women supporting fat phobia and misogyny i would just love to know what you mean by fat phobia and misogyny like you're not giving any examples at all i do not understand why everyone is supporting systems that are bad for can, can you give a fucking example instead of just saying these things are bad for everybody? What are they? What exactly is bad for everybody? Weight loss? Finding people to be with that are attracted to you because you look good? 
what is bad? What is going, what? Can you, can you specify? Can there please be an example? Instead of just saying worthless statements that have absolutely nothing behind them. You're just saying blanket shit that, have, that, 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 that give zero context, zero nuance at all. Explain it. That's why whenever you hear me explain something, I'm always gonna try to put a example in it so you at least understand what I'm saying. Everyone, why do you want to live in such a hateful environment? Please. I don't understand. And why do you want to be so hateful yourself? Whenever I observe this fat phobia, and you're not even man. I, I just hate this woman so fucking bad, bro. Because <laughs> the problem I see a really, really big, bigly with her is that she thinks she's eating. She thinks that she's actually saying something of value here. Like this is her Rosa Parks moment where she's not gonna stand up on the bus. But the reality of the situation is she can't stand up in general. So she's just saying a whole bunch of bullshit. She has absolutely no ability to reference anything in reality. All she's saying right now is just complete hogwash and she's virtue signaling up until the gods themselves at this point. And all of her statements are not centered in reality remotely. And since I joined TikTok, there has been a lot of it targeted directly at me. Yeah, because you're saying a whole bunch of bullshit. You're not actually saying anything of value. I do wonder. There's a bunch of words, but nothing behind them. Exactly what the motivation is. And I can only imagine. My motivation for this particular video and me critiquing your particular video is that you're saying literal nothing and you're claiming that it's so valuable and you're claiming that society is mistreating you, but you're not actually telling me how it's mistreating you. You're just saying it's misogynistic or fat phobic, but without giving any examples or telling us exactly what's even going on there. And you're just claiming that it's bad. I don't know what is bad. I don't know why it's bad. I don't know what is happening. You're just telling me that it's bad and that we should stop doing it. What is the thing that is bad? What is the thing that I should stop doing? What, what is the thing that's making me misogynistic? And what is the thing that's making me fat phobic? You're literally giving me nothing. You're a dumb person making a video on the internet and you think that you're doing something right now, but you're not doing anything at all besides just pandering to, I guess, your entire audience that already agrees with what you're saying to begin with. In that for people, regardless of how tragic their lives may or may not be, as long as they are not fat, they know that they are superior to a whole group of people. Most people are not thinking like this though. Like most people that are thinner are not even really putting a lot of, do these people not understand that like most people don't give a fuck about anybody else? Like when you walk down the street and you see a fat person, it might be disconcerting to see their kneecaps inverting or like the fact that their feet are doing this, right? You know what I'm talking about? When a fat person puts one foot like this, but the other side of their foot is like this. And then like the, 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 the layers on the bottom of their foot are so deteriorated on that one side. It might be concerning to see that and go, wow, that guy is really fat. I think he's probably gonna die before his time. But most of the time, right after that, you know what you're doing? You're walking down the street and you're going back into that McDonald's. You're buying your iced coffee or whatever. You're filling prescriptions. You're doing your job, whatever the fuck. Most people don't give a fuck about you. Most people don't really care enough to think about things in this external way. Uh, so I don't understand what you're even talking about right now. Like when you say thin people look at, uh, at themselves as superior people, where? What are you talking about? Nobody does that ever, dude. That's such a weird thing to do. I'm worried about other shit, dude. I'm worried about um, whether or not I'm going to drink my water for the day. And I'm worried about what characters I'm going to play on the new Sparking Zero video game. Like, I'm not worried about why the fuck you're so fat and you're not doing anything about it. You're fine. But you're trying to gaslight people into thinking that that's what we're thinking about. To make us seem like we're the de we're the demons, one we're the, we're the devilish ones here. When in reality, that's not true at all. You're gaslighting people into thinking like this, this not true statement. And when someone fat comes along and they're like, I'd like the same thing as I And then we're gonna go, um, yeah, that's great. You want the same thing. Well, like, that's fine that you want it, but I want a Tesla. I want a million dollars. I want a bajillion dollars. But guess what? The only way I'm gonna be able to get that bajillion dollars is if I work for it, you know what I'm saying? Or if I do something to get that money. I, I don't, I'm not just gonna expect things to be handed to me because I exist. That's the difference between me and you. I'm not gonna just, like if I wanna walk up the stairs, I'm gonna walk up the stairs because I'm equipped to do so through the process of my body being able to walk up those stairs because I do cardio or I walk or I eat right, I eat right enough to be able to walk up the stairs. I understand that that's not something you do because you're obviously obese and you're fat. So you can't walk up those stairs, but you're complaining to me that you want to do those things. Okay, I don't care. I don't, I don't care that you want to do anything. What the fuck does that have to do with me? What the fuck does that have to do with society in general? Why don't you just put yourself in a position to be able to walk up these stairs? Everyone else. And actually I'm happy and I'm not ashamed of my weight and I'm not trying to change it. That's fine. You can't expect everything else to change around you, but you're not willing to change for anything else. That's literally some toxic ass shit. That's some really fucking toxic ass behavior, super entitled behavior as well, dude. You're literally describing some, you're, you're literally describing a child right now. Are you a child? 
and I don't- Didn't you just get married? Is your husband not like have a problem with the fact that you're literally- Okay, whatever, bro. Uh, you would think that your husband would have a problem with it, but I guess maybe he's just enabling you too. I don't think that it means that I'm deserving of less. It's like- That's exactly- Okay, look, dude. It's It just depends on what you mean by deserving of less. Is if, if somebody doesn't have legs, are they deserving of less in terms of like navigating society? No, they're not deserving of less, but they're just in a situation where they're going to get less. So was that that means like if there's no elevator access, that person is literally just fucked unless there's a whole bunch of strong gentlemen that want to help them up the stairs or whatever the fuck. Um, the world is not easily navigatable. Um, for people that have disabilities and that sucks right but it is what it is how the world is we can't make everything as accessible as we need it to be um but you complaining about it in this particular scenario and then saying there's nothing you want to do to change when people without legs literally can do nothing to change their situations it's not like they could just like take their thumb and just and just start growing legs that's not possible for them but you on the other hand can literally put down the muffin put down the extra slice of pizza and i don't know walk a little bit more dude you can easily do that and it would improve your situation immeasurably. So I don't know. I just don't like it when they compare like people that have regular disabilities or whatever the fuck. It's just such a dumb point. This woman is literally making nonsense right now. I'm not trying to change it. And I don't think that it means that I'm deserving of less. It's like that shakes their view of the world to the very core. They are so- Yeah, because it's, it's entitlement. You think you deserve something for no other reason than you deserve it. And you're not even listing out a reason why you think you deserve it. You're just saying you deserve stuff because you exist. Why? Why do you think you deserve stuff? Why do you think that you're not you're not supposed to work for the things that you're supposed to get? Do you think that all thin people are just deserving of walking places? The reason why they're able to do all that stuff is because they're thin in the first place and that they had made the passive or passive or unpassive decision to lose weight or maintain the weight in order to navigate the world successfully. You do understand that, right? Okay worried that there might be some kind of fat people uprising there's no uprising you guys can barely stand up and if we get treated the same as everyone else they'll be at the bottom of the food chain now if you are a fat phobe if you are thin and you are telling me about your experiences and how you know one time you couldn't buy a petite dress it's not the same. It's not equivalent. Yes. Stop telling me. It's You know what? That's really true. It's not equivalent. You guys not being able to find clothes is not equivalent to us not being able to buy the same petite dress. You're totally right about that. In the same way that you saying that you're not able to walk up the stairs is not the same compared to us being able to walk up the stairs, especially in a position where you're not willing to make the changes openly. You're literally saying that. So why would you even make this claim? Do you not see how easy it was for me to like put that right back up on you? It's not the same. Just like this, this is not the same. So if you want to like walk up the stairs adequately or you want to have the ability to navigate the world successfully, it's not the same because you're in a different bracket of human being. You're fat. You're bigger. You have issues due to your weight. Why the fuck would it be my responsibility to put you in a bracket to equal to me when I just physically can't do that? Like what do you... Make your own decisions. You're making your own decisions. You're too quick. You're too quick to say it's not the same on this. But you're, you're, you're so seldom will you ever see somebody say it's not the same for the other things. About fat phobia when you haven't personally experienced True. it. True. <laughs> yes. I hate it also when people say this. You haven't experienced fat phobia. Do you not think that I'm capable of relating? Do you not think I'm capable of at least understanding sympathy? Whatever the fuck, dude. I have all these. I have these abilities as well, right? I, I, I have the ability to think in a nuanced way. I can see what you guys are coming from. But most of these claims that you're making are literal hogwash. They're all just facades that you guys want to lay upon yourself to make your life seem like they're a lot worse than they actually are. When the reality of the situation is you are literally one of the most privileged individuals in the entire circumference of the human being's existence given the fact that you are so fat you physically cannot do what human beings can do and the only reason why you're fat is because you have enabled yourself to be fat in a society that has access to food like you're pretty much putting it upon yourself and if you're a fat person and you were telling me that i am being too sensitive and that fat phobia isn't real let's just lose weight yeah yeah what, what, what's the claim to that then i feel really sorry for you true damn man i thought i thought i was gonna get through to that one on the fat person it doesn't matter um when they say fat people or like they w listen to fat people, they're not talking about fat people. They're talking because most fat people don't, don't want to be fat. They're talking about the fat people that agree with them. These people are fucking literal. Like they've been, they're, they're in a cult. This is a cult. This is basically a cult.
because you have internalized so much of the hate that society shows you and you are letting it spill back out at the people that understand you and kind of like how that gut is spilling out the top part of your pants huh should be part of a supportive community for you shut up dude you don't know what these fucking fat listen first of all if a fat person wants to lose weight and they're saying that losing weight would be beneficial for the majority of fat people which is correct and you're deducing that that person has internalized fat phobia and that the world has literally hypnotized them into thinking that that's fine because guess what? The world hypnotizing them to, into losing weight is only going to make their lives more beneficial. If anything, you have hypnotized yourself into believing a straight up lie. Not the enemy. Either way, let's stop making such a hateful environment. So why are you making this video then? Because this is like the definition of hateful. You're literally shitting on everybody that has an opposite opinion than you and you're just telling us we're wrong without even telling us why. Everyone, let's stop hating people for ridiculous reasons. If we wanna hate someone, let's hate the people that perpetuate the discriminatory rules of our society. Like the guy that made stairs or like, what do you mean? Like gravity, like Newton, I guess? He didn't, he didn't create it, but he made it. Like he's the guy that like put it to words. I don't know. Let's hate capitalism. I'm good. I'm real good, bro. Let's hate capitalism. Literally the, the entire reason why you're even fat to begin with. Okay. That seems kind of counterproductive. As opposed to what? What are we celebrating now? Not capitalism. So what? Socialism? Communism? What the fuck are you celebrating, dude? What the fuck? What kind of weird person is this, dude? If this person had any claims before this point, I immediately am disqualifying this person after this point. And by the way, I'm not even strictly dickly capitalism. If there was something better than capitalism, I would totally go for that. But there isn't anything better than capitalism. So I'm going to go for capitalism. And by the way, this person is literally only fat because they exist in a capitalistic society. The discriminatory rules of our society. And by the way, somebody just saying the reason why the world sucks is capitalism is crazy. Given the fact that we've had the most amount of success in a short period of time, like the last 200 years, that has been defined by the success of capitalism. But whatever, dude. And you know what? Here in America and other places, not strictly capitalism. We have social... We have social systems in place and do something like that whatever man. let's hate capitalism that kind of probably invented fat phobia that's yeah i mean i guess so it invented fat phobia but it also invented fatness let's hate misogyny okay let's not hate fat people who are just trying to live their lives and make not you though right because you are obviously making content on the internet nobody really hates fat people just trying to live their life unless you're talking about the passive effects of a fat person having to walk on the sidewalk or not having adequate elevator access. Like if you're talking like passive stuff like that, then I guess, but we can't really do much about that shit happens. And if the stairs exist and sidewalks exist, what the fuck are we supposed to do? How do we make the world more navigable? So I, I just, it's just, it's just a dumb claim. Maybe buy some clothes that fit them and maybe not be bullied and maybe have medical care it's a, just a and victim. maybe be paid the same as their peers. When are they not paid the same? I just, oh, it does. It, it just really depends on what you mean by paid the same. If you're fat and you can't do your job to the same degree that a thin person can, so that means you're, you're not picking up as many hours and you're being paid by hourly, then that's no other fault than your own. Right? No. Okay. This person literally is defined by not taking accountability. It's actually insane. Yeah, I posted on Facebook that um, posting about intentional weight loss is anti-fat and gross. Um, and I actually had some good conversation with my friends about it, but it was a public post and I sort of had a feeling something was going to happen. It got shared to a bunch of hate groups and there were almost 2000 comments on that shit when I got up today. Thankfully, somebody texted me and warned me. So I just went on Facebook and deleted the post. But of course, these trolls are like still out for me. Anyway, here's... I just keep blocking people. So there's my list of blocks. This is, uh... I don't even know what round, but at least, um... I don't condone bullying. It is kind of tragic sometimes when a particular creator gets a hold of your content. But then again, if you're posting shit on the internet, um, you have to be willing to understand that some of these people will make uh, response videos and they'll talk shit to you and all that other stuff. Um, in the case of me, Samira, uh, she put all her trolls or her dogs on me and it's okay. Like it is what it is. It's the nature of the game. If you're going to be willing to post stuff on the internet, you have to be willing to exchange with fire. It is what it is. Can't know the heat, get out the kitchen, as they say. At least I'm in a good headspace. Cause come on, like how fucking cute is that picture? Like, it's all right. I like the sand. The sand's okay. Like hate on haters. The hair is hydrated. Go ahead. I was fat shamed by a wedding videographer. Let's talk about it. So I'm a wedding photographer, so I was at work. And normally when you're at a wedding and there's a videographer, you go up and introduce yourself all day. I was with my second photographer, who is also a 
plus size lady and this is relevant otherwise i wouldn't comment on her body and so we were actually trying to strategize like where we were going to stand in the ceremony and we walked towards him and instead of introducing himself or saying hello he says that we look intimidating okay and then we ask him what he means and it becomes very apparent that what he was saying was you are two fat women walking towards me, and that's why you're intimidating. <laughs> why? Did he say that? How the fuck do you know that? What 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 cues did he give you that implied that he said that? What? What the hell is this woman talking about, bro? What is this projection? Now, yes, I love a weak man. Wait, no, no, wait, hold on. You're just completely You're just completely sidestepping that? You just said this guy was intimidated because two fat women were walking next to them? Why would that even be intimidating at all? Like maybe the smell, the odor that you guys emanate off yourself. What would be intimidating about that? Can you at least go over that a little bit? What is the examples, bro? You can't just say stuff and just leave it there. That's crazy. How does this guy think you're intimidating? Why? Because you're fat? Why? Why? How do you get that implication? Why? The fuck? Now, yes, I love a weak man who is intimidated by women, of course, who doesn't. We asked him to elaborate. He didn't explain properly. Yeah, he, it seems like he did, you didn't really give him a chance to explain at all. You're just saying that he was intimidated, but you don't know why he was intimidated? Did you, okay, whatever. Dude, it was on. actually a really confusing thing. We got on with our conversation and we walked away. Okay. And then my second photographer turned to me and she was like, that was really weird, right? Like he was insulting us. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, at best, that was misogyny, but I'm pretty sure that was fat phobia. How do you know? Can you tell us what he said? Is there any examples here? Are there any words that were exchanged? Can you tell us at least what was said? I don't know any of this context. You're, what, you're, you're, you're telling me there was a conversation. You literally just said, we two fat women walked up to a fellow gentleman that was taking pictures. And then that guy said he was intimidated and he was fat phobic. Anyway, so we walked away and my friend was like, that's fat phobia, right? And I said, yes. Why? Why was it fat phobia? What the fuck? How? The hell? That's like going up to a cop and be like, that guy killed somebody. And then you're going, okay, um, the cop goes, okay, how did, what do you mean? Where did this happen? What do you just, can you go arrest him? Like, <laughs> can you just go arrest that guy? Well, I mean, we can arrest him. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can arrest him, but let me, let me know what happened. Like, what, how did he kill someone? How did he kill, what, who did he kill? Wait, where did he kill him? It's not important. Okay, that's irrelevant. Okay, what do you, are you like a weird cop right now, dude? Do your fucking job and arrest that guy that just killed somebody. Then I'm not going to tell you any any examples, any stories, and any proof about how that person did or did not kill him. By the way, there's no body, obviously. It's just like you're just saying shit. It's, none of this shit makes any sense. Why was he fat phobic? Why was he misogynistic? What made you think that? You're not saying anything about that. Again, this woman has no context, dude. And she agreed that it was okay. about cool. our side. I'm glad that you fat ladies both agreed on something that we have absolutely no idea about. He then sets up this light that has no business being in this ceremony room. Okay. It's not even a video light. And okay. I ask him if he can move it because it's going to be in all the photos. And also, and this is photography talk, but like it's going to change the temperature of the colors. So there's going to be like natural light, which has a different tone to the light of this, art, the uh, color of this artificial light. And it's going to yes, make we know the about photos lighting. look yes. bad. <laughs> and it's also not going to be beneficial because again, not a video light. So I asked. It sounds like what she's saying is that she's coming from it from a place of superiority. Um, anybody would be off put, by the way, if you come up to that person and you explain to them that they don't know what they're doing with their job. Literally, if you're coming up to this person and going, this light shouldn't be here. This light is busted. This light is not even going to work remotely. The fact that you thought this light was going to be good for this particular this particular wedding ceremony or whatever is actually kind of crazy. We need natural light. This light is hogwash light. Get this shit out of here. That's what it basically sounds like. I mean, in, in, a, in a manner of speaking. I asked him if he could move it. He said no. Okay. I asked him why. He said because it's dark. True. And then I said, but it's going to mess up the colors. And he went, I don't care. True. Um, and then he said. I, it doesn't sound like this guy is a weak man. It sounds like he's just giving you like good responses. I don't even know why you would even refer this guy as a weak guy because he said he does not kind of try to move his life. I don't want to conflict True. about this. And I said, <laughs> well, the thing is, I think you do want to conflict. It doesn't seem like he wants a cop. <laughs> what? Bro, this guy's giving you like one word responses. He's trying to end the conversation as soon as possible. And you are over here talking about some, no, 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 you want conflict. I know you want conflict because I'm starting that conflict and I know you're going to reciprocate on the conflict that I'm creating. And I'm just going to say that you created it because I'm a victim perpetually. That's what it sounds like. How the fuck did this get? Everything you just said to me right now 
is literally how I would expect somebody that doesn't want conflict to react when they don't want conflict. And I said, <laughs> well, the thing is, I think you do want a conflict because as soon as we met you, you made misogynist, fat phobic. Um, listen, dude, if I'm in a group, listen, if I'm doing my job and these two fat ladies come over and they, they make a claim that I'm fat phobic or misogynistic, suck me off bro like get the fuck out of here bro get your fucking identity politics get yeah i'm just trying to do my job i'm pretty sure that's exactly what this guy's gonna be saying dude like what are you even doing here bro why are you trying to start a fight with me i'm just trying to do my job dude why are you on me like this it comments this woman is terrible hold up how is this woman employable at all is it because people are afraid to fire her because they might get sued for being misogynistic or phobic as soon as we met you you made misogynist. What, what were the comments? Phobic comments. Like what? About us. Like what? You insulted us like the what? moment that we approached you. Okay, but what did, what did he say that was insulting? Can you tell us about that? What, what about that? And by the way, if that was like hours ago, then okay. And he said that he didn't. True. And that it was a compliment. I, man, you know what, dude? If you're not telling us what it is and he determines that to be a compliment, I'm inclined to believe him. You're leaving way too much on the table right now. You're literally just gaslighting us all to believe that you're in the right and by not giving us any context. I'm believing this guy. You're literally just saying nothing right now to try to win a fucking point. This is the worst way of doing it too. You're purposely leading out de leaving out details to make it seem like you're in the right, but you're not. Re you're not there's no reason for that. I said, no, it wasn't. <laughs> what were the comments? What did he say? Why did he think it was a compliment? Okay, whatever, bro, come on. <laughs> and I said, you can explain to the couple why the photos look bad. That's fine. Then, and uh, we're done here. Um. Anyway. <laughs> She's so entitled. She's so fucking entitled, bro. Look at this woman. She thought she really ate off that. Like, she thought she did something here. When in reality, she looks like the bitch in this situation. She literally looks like a straight-up cock in this situation. Like an asshole. It's not normal that I would get into an argument with someone at a wedding. Because normally, when you're at work, you are very much like, okay, like just let's just get on with this. Like, I can feel however I feel about this, but, like, let's just move on. But... <laughs> Always a butt there, right? I was gonna do my job, but... There is something about... Especially because he was an older... Yeah, this woman is projecting so many insecurities right now, bro. This woman is literally out here telling us all for, for everybody to see. I know she thinks she's a victim in this situation because it seems like she has very much a lot of... Man, I couldn't even imagine being in a relationship with a person like this. I can't take responsibility for anything at all, dude. Started a fight with that guy, by the way. And you're over here talking about some now he's an older man. What, do you, what is wrong with you, bro? You do realize in the process of making this video, making yourself seem like a victim. If anybody thinks she's a victim, by the way, you're literally fucking dumb. This woman is not a victim. This woman is literally starting fights with people for no other reason than to start fights. She's not claiming. She's not telling us what was even being exchanged. This woman is literally out here putting her insecurities directly on display while telling people that she's in the right, even though she's not in the right. This woman is solidly in the wrong. Man, like a middle-aged man, you know. Yeah. There is something about a man making women feel uncomfortable, insulting them in their workplace. I'm not going to do this shit. This woman is on some different shit. Uh, what, what are you even saying right now, dude? A man is insulting you at the workplace and that's uncomfortable for you, but you didn't actually tell us what the insults were. You didn't go into any detail about what the insults were. Why does it matter that he's a man? What did he say? Did it have something to do with his genitalia? Did it have something to do with him being a man? What the fuck? I don't understand. I don't, there's no context here. You're just saying a bunch of words. None of this even makes sense. You're just claiming you're a victim for no other reason than just being a victim. And now you're saying he's a man and that's something to do with anything. I don't know. Why is this even happening? I don't even understand what the, the whole story here is. Why are you victimizing yourself so hard? Place, and then expecting you to have to laugh it off. You don't. Get on with things in order to make the day okay. She's triggering the fuck out of me, bro. She's really triggering the fuck out of me right now, dude. She really thought she ate with this one, bro. She looks like literally the asshole in this situation times 10. That really sits really uncomfortably with me. Okay. Because actually, me calling him out didn't make it uncomfortable. Me calling him out wasn't the issue. Him insulting me and my second photographer was the issue. GG to the husband. GG to the husband. Real, real, I'm gonna keep it a solid buck with you. GG, this is a very, very, this is a diabolical woman, man. This woman can't take any accountability at all. Holy shit.
Can you imagine starting a fight with a photographer that wanted nothing to do with you? And then you're telling me that that wasn't the problem that you randomly walking up to the guy trying to start a try to start a fight telling. First of all, you straight up demonized him. You literally said that he didn't know how to do his job in so many words. And then you try to say that he wanted to conflict when he was just giving you one word response. He wanted nothing to do with you. And you're saying that now it's not you. That's the problem. Even though you literally initiated that it was him, man. That husband got to be dealing with some shit. Every day, it seems like. This woman is one of those girls um, that's never going to let it down. Always going to have the last word. She, she, It seems like she doesn't really care what the context of what the argument was. She just wants to argue for some reason. Incredibly toxic traits. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What are you, 34, 35, 36? I can't tell, right? I, if you told me you were 14, if I closed my eyes and you said all this stuff, I would think that you were 14. I would think that you were literally a child at the way that you're able to describe all this stuff occurring. You literally are claiming that you're the victim when you are literally the victimizer. And so... Why does it matter that he's a man too, by the way? Why are you just randomly bringing that up? You should bring up capitalism too, by the way. Assaulting me and my second photographer was the issue. Tell us what that and was. And so, How? while I hadn't planned on saying anything, uh, once he suggested that I was being combative, that was, you know, I was he, like- You probably were combative, and he just called you out on that. This woman is used to getting her way. She's so fucking privileged, dude. She's such, she's such a fucking goody two-shoes, dude. Well, let's actually be combative then. Oh, he decides yeah. he's gonna come out and talk to me. I'm waiting for the bride to uh, leave her room. And he decides he's gonna come out and talk to me. And now I think this is because he's seen me talking to the female uh, venue coordinator. And okay. I basically said, can you just run interference? Because I don't really want to have to deal with him again. I think he's seen that and he's worried because this is a venue he works at a lot. Anyway, and he comes out and he says, I took it the wrong way. And it was a compliment. I say, it's not a compliment. And both of us felt exactly the same way. Can you tell us what the quote unquote compliment was? Because you just leaving us here without anything is not helping your case. It's making you look worse. We didn't encourage each other. It makes it seem like you don't want to tell us what it is because most people would probably deduce that it is a compliment. We both turned to each other and were like, that was not acceptable. Okay. If we both felt that way, then it's probably because that's what you meant. That's not how that works at all. You're telling me two biased fat women that are obviously caught in the fat acceptance space that can't take accountability are taking something the wrong way. That doesn't make any sense at all. No, that does not know that that is absolutely not true at all. No, just because two people found it offensive doesn't mean that it's offensive. It just means you guys found it offensive. And then he said, I support women. And he true. did this with his hands. He supports women. Lucky us, okay. ladies, he supports women. That's great. Okay. Later on in the day, he also tells me. Why, why does it matter that he put up his hands like this? I don't understand. Okay. He's a um, COVID denier and that he has a child, but he wishes he didn't. Um, he's a real gem. Where the I fuck did you find this out? What, what, what? Did he say this? What the fuck? Later on in the day, he also tells me he's a um, COVID denier okay. and that he has a child. He told you he this? He wishes he didn't. How come you don't tell? How come you don't? You're, you're so willing to tell us this, but you're not willing to tell us the compliment or disrespectful comment that he said? Um, he's a real gem. Yeah. Anyway. Just like you, right? He's come out and apologized. He then goes back in. He's standing next to my second photographer. And he tells her she's still angry. And, uh, you're snowflakes for getting offended. So. Maybe like snowballs. Yeah. What I would say is that this bride also wasn't tiny. So he's making misogynistic and fat phobic comments while he's having to serve someone who falls into this criteria of a group of people that he doesn't like or respect or feel are owed de common decency, right? And that sits really badly with me too. Hey. So anyway, I don't think this is a requirement and I'm not even giving advice here, but where possible, maybe make sure that you politically align with the people that you are paying good money to, to, uh, you know, fulfill any kind of service. But, you know, on a wedding day where you are being pretty vulnerable and um, it's supposed to be like a joyful but emotional experience, 
I wouldn't want to feel like someone was judging me at my wedding and that I had paid them to be there. And unfortunately, I have seen this before with other male videographers. Um, and that's because as a photographer, I work the closest with the videographer. It doesn't mean that other suppliers aren't doing it and it doesn't- What's the implication? Are women just immune to this or something? Why do you keep specifying men? What the fuck? What is going on, dude? Why are you specifying men so heavily? What is the relevance of, I've seen this a lot with men? Okay, well, what is that? What is the implication there? What do you do? Are women just like immune to it? Like, okay, whatever, go ahead. I work the closest with the videographer. It doesn't mean that other suppliers aren't doing it and it doesn't mean that photographers aren't doing it. It's just that I'm not working with the other photographers. Seems like you're not working at all. Seems like you want to start fights, man. Seems like you want to lay out your entitlement full force. Because I'm the photographer. So yeah, there you go. Just, just, you know, the world's trash. <laughs> Okay, this woman is dumb, stupid, dumb person. I Entitled. GG to the husband, man. I really, man, I hope he got a lot of tolerance, dude. That's not going to end in a good relationship, dude. That, this person is literally a goody two-shoes. I don't know, a pick-me, super pick-me, thinking that they want. I mean, look at this. Look at this smile right here, bro. Thinking that she said something here of anything of value at all, bro. Everything she said was like literal hogwash. I don't believe anything this woman said. I don't even know what the compliment or disrespectful comment was. You know why she didn't lay it out? Because she knows that it was probably not going to help her cause. She's going to purposely leave stuff out. Beautiful. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in giraffe. We need some giraffes in our animal sanctuary. They're beautiful creatures. They suck poles. They tell you hello and goodbye. Um, not in words, but in other formats, you know, through the, the length of their neck, you can see them vibrating the cords to adequately signal to you that they, they are thankful to you. They are thankful for the lovely leaves and the luscious poles that they can lay their lips upon to properly get that succulent succotash right upon them. Um, they're beautiful. Blue tongues, amazing creatures. Uh, I think that they're great. For a long time, I wanted a baby one, but um, they grow up, so I wouldn't be able to, like, keep it in my house or anything like that. But it'd be pretty cool to, like, walk down the street with, like, a baby giraffe on a leash, right? People would look at you weird, but I got a baby giraffe. What the fuck do you got, bro? Is that a dog? Dogs are out of style, bro. Get yourself a baby giraffe that doesn't grow, like a, a, teapot, a teacup. But I've also heard that teacup pigs, the reason why they are so small is because you just don't feed them adequately. So I guess maybe don't, you know, definitely feed them adequately. But regardless... You're a beautiful person, and I know you feed yourself adequately. I know you take care of yourself adequately. I know that you know how to understand how the world works, and you're capable of taking accountability. You're, take, you're capable of working on yourself and bettering yourself, ensuring that you're the best possible person every single day. But it's okay that you made it that mistake every once in a while. People make mistakes. It's fine. It's as long as the net positive of you is positive. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's gracious. That's a beautiful thing. You're a beautiful person. You're doing great things for yourself. And that's amazing for you and people around you. That's awesome. I really think that's awesome. But anyway, guys, um, social medias will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.